Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Alex here and in today's video we're talking about Qatar Airways and the recent changes that they made and uh, they seem like they continuously make some changes for the benefits of the cabin crew. It's weird because Qatar Airways used to be the most dreaded of the three airlines. It used to be the least liked option to apply for an interview and that's because they had a lot of rules, a lot of rules and regulations about the cabin crew lifestyle, about the way cabin crew should behave, about the cabin crew on board and off duty as well right? Because they have certain regulations and certain rules that apply and some of them are still available in today's environment, but many of them changed. And I talked about this in a previous video, but now let's dig in and see some of the changes that uh, Qatar Airways cabin crew have. And one of the most important changes, ladies and gents, is the CEO. The CEO of the airline changed, right? Mr. al Bakir. He was very well known, he was very famous as a personality both in Qatar Airways community and outside in aviation, generally speaking. He did bring a lot of uh, good things to Qatar, he expanded the airline a lot and um, its contributions haven't been unnoticed, obviously. Qatar Airways now is one of the biggest airlines in the world, especially when it comes to international flights and it's been doing really, really great right on a on a on a world scene the airline is seen as a benchmark for other airlines to follow but unfortunately the ceo is not so good um, in particular when it comes to cabin crew and their lifestyle right there was a lot of restrictions put in place uh, and many crew they were complaining they can see the ceo everywhere and they were like afraid of him somehow uh, you can see him in HQ, you, he will board the aircraft to check on you. Uh, he was checking the style and image of the cabin crew to see their uniforms, how they wear it. Is that skirt too tight? Is that hair loose? Um, all those uh, small little things. If he would see you on board and he was not pleased with you, you might get redundant. You might get fired from the job, right? He was a strict person, a strict personality. And um, that showed uh, on the lifestyle of the cabin crew of Qatar Airways. But as I said, he resigned and now the new CEO, uh, Badr Mohamed Almer, he stepped in to fill out the role. And let's just see this photo right here. So this is a photo of the new CEO, right, with the cabin crew of Qatar Airways. This is on board and this is... A first for Qatar Airways. Just look at this picture. The CEO is dressed casually. He's, um, he's not even in a suit. He's not even in Kandura, right? He is dressed casually. He has some nice, pretty cool looking shoes. And he takes a photo with Qatar Airways crew together, casually on a plane. This for Qatar Airways, this is a new thing. It's a new benchmark. It's um, unheard of. <laughs> And it's just a change of management, obviously. They want to be more chilled about it. They don't want to be so strict anymore. And uh, there's new hopes for the airline when it comes to this new CEO that things will improve even more and things will improve for the employees of the airline, which is a great, great thing. And uh, I'll just take a look and read some of the comments here. Um, so happy for them. I love my feed is full of Qatar crew now. <laughs> He gives me the positive vibes. Both leadership styles are great and successful, but very different. Qatar Airways wouldn't be where it is today without uh, Al Bakr, right? The previous CEO. That's very true. That's very true. It is the case indeed. But I guess this is a much needed change. I was waiting for so long for a miracle to come. <laughs> okay. He looks really cool. Heard he even abolished the no tattoos law. Yeah, okay, we're gonna talk about this pretty soon. So, a new big update, a new big change in Qatar Airways is that cabin crew can now post photos in uniform. Cabin crew can now post photos in uniform. Now you might say, okay, Alex, haven't they posted pictures before in uniform? I saw a couple of them on Instagram, whatever, whatever. Yes, but they usually resigned from the airline and after they resigned, they post, right? They cannot post while in uniform, while in the airline. And that's a bummer because many of them, they want to be proud of the airline they are working for. And, you know, they want to wear that pride on social media as well. They want to, you know, be happy about their position and be relaxed uh, while in uniform. 
take pictures, enjoy themselves, right? Why not? Now in Etihad and uh, Emirates, obviously we can post pictures in uniform, we can post reels, we can showcase ourselves on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and all of that stuff. Obviously you have to respect uh, some things while doing so. You have to be pro professional at all times. You have to take care of your appearance and style and image while posting on um, those social media platforms. But other than that, we can, we can pretty much post. And now it's the turn of Katara crew. That's a big, big, big change and that's much needed for their lifestyle. Because you want to be proud of your workplace, right? And as mentioned in that post, tattoos are now allowed for new joiners. No more zero tattoo policy. Before, before of this, Qatar Airways had a zero tattoo policy. That means you cannot apply for the airline if you have any tattoo on any part of your body. Now, you might ask, were they examining the crew for any part of their bodies? Well, oftentimes I heard that they did, or they at least um, take a look at them during the medical exam. As of today, they said that uh, new joiners can go to Qatar Airways interviews and they can apply even though they have tattoos on their body. Obviously, you, you cannot have a tattoo whilst in uniform, so no wrist tattoos, no neck tattoos, no face tattoos, no leg tattoos, especially on your um, thighs and stuff. Um, but apart from that, if you have a tattoo on your chest or on your belly or whatever on your back, that's fine. And that's a welcoming change. That's a welcoming change. Maybe many of the new joiners will be really, really professional cabin crew and they cannot apply because they have tattoos. So that's that was really a bummer in the past, but apparently not so anymore. All right, so one more change in Qatar Airways. They recently increased the salary by 200 rials, which is very little and it doesn't, um, how to say, it doesn't compensate the inflation by any means. It doesn't do much for the inflation, but... It's better than nothing, I guess. So 200 reals added to the basic salary. Now, if you guys are wondering, most of those major airlines, they don't really increase the salaries, right? They know they have plenty of people applying for them. So salary increases are very rare, let's say. Um, because the salaries, yes, they're already good compared to the average of, you know, the world aviation. They're already good salaries, that's the truth. And you have accommodation paid for, so it's all the money goes in your pocket. Nevertheless, Qatar Airways increased the salary by 200 reals. At least that's the information I have here. All right, another change that's actually coming, it's not here yet, but uh, it's stipulated that Qatar will change the uniform for the cabin crew. Um, now, those changes might uh, be very little, not that noticeable. The materials will change and some other things. Those are just rumors. I have nothing confirmed as of now, but uh, this is what I've heard from industry insiders, let's say. So let's see. Qatar Airways uniform alongside with posting on social media by the crew. There'll be uh, a lot of posts in the near future, right? Okay, another change, another very good change is that dress code for staff travel has been relaxed. As you guys know, cabin crew and pilots and airline staff, generally speaking, we have something called staff travel. That means we fly all over the world in our free time at a very cheap cost. We can also drag along friends and family. We can put them on staff travel as well. It's one of the best benefits of working for an airline. You can basically fly the world alongside your family for very cheap money. Now, what's a dress code for staff travel? Usually, it used to be that you have to wear a suit and tie, you have to be super uh, on point dressed up when you fly because you must be a very good representative of a passenger or what a passenger should be on board. Your staff traveling, you represent the airline, you're part of the airline, therefore you should be dressed like a freaking wedding room. <laughs> But recently, uh, airlines have really relaxed the staff travel um, policy when it comes to attire. And, of course, Qatar Airways is now following suit. So you can wear sneakers in Qatar Airways now as a staff travel. You can wear jeans. You can, you can wear a polo shirt. You don't have to wear a suit and tie anymore. Everything has been relaxed in that regard. So that's great changes for the cabin crew, for the pilots, for the airline staff, the 
that are traveling and also for their families. Uh, previously, if you were dressed poorly at boarding, they might deny you flights. They might say, you're not dressed appropriately for this flight, you will not fly. But uh, now I'm happy to see that this has changed. Ladies and gents, if you're still following me by this point, please leave a like on the video, leave a comment, express your opinion, and uh, let's get on to the new rule. Obviously, in November 2013, the airline relaxed its curfew for cabin crew, removing the 4 to 7 a.m. curfew during days off. So this has been very controversial and it's been one of the rules of Qatar Airways this curfew, even in your days off, you must be inside your accommodation during those times. But not anymore. I already talked about this in a previous video. So crew now during their days off, they can just do whatever they want. They don't have to be in their accommodation from 4 to 7 a.m. Yeah, that's a stupid rule, to be honest. It's very weird. Um, we don't have this in Etihad or in, in Emirates. We didn't have it. But uh, yeah, it's basically a form of controlling your crew to be at their best behavior, I guess. But they're adults, they can take care of themselves, I guess. So I don't understand what this rule is all about. But now there is no more curfew. Great news for them. Um, also, it used to be a curfew of 12 hours before your flight. You must be in your accommodation for your rest period. Nowadays, that has been reduced to nine hours. So nine hours before every flight, you must be in your accommodation and you must um, rest for before your flight. Okay, that makes a bit of sense. Still, you kind of confine the crew in their own place. Maybe they have different plans and maybe they rested before. How would you know? Anyways, nine hours instead of 12 good change as well. It's a positive change and I guess the cabin crew of Qatar are welcoming it. All right, so this is pretty much uh, what I wanted to talk about today, ladies and gents, all of those changes. Um, this is what's happening in Qatar. Uh, very positive changes. The cabin crew are happier nowadays. Uh, for them, it represents something really, really huge, to be honest. And... Um, their lifestyle has improved dramatically and I've talked to crew of Qatar and they're all very excited for the future and uh, they plan to stay a bit more within the airline. Probably the resignations will, uh, will be less and less, you know, will take place less and less. It's not going to be a thing to resign after two, three years. Now the pros outweigh the cons. So more benefits for them. Also, one positive thing is Doha is becoming a very cosmopolitan city. It's becoming a touristical destination. It's becoming a city uh, to live in. Many of the crew, they really love Doha as a place to live in. So that's that. Now, when it comes to joining this airline as a cabin crew, applying for this airline, don't be afraid anymore. Qatar Airways has become a very good option to become a cabin crew for. So apply for this airline, you know, you don't have to dread this airline anymore. You don't have to be afraid of this airline anymore. Things are more relaxed now. Things are more chill. They're more positive. Good vibes, right, within the airline. So, yeah, apply for it. Qatar Airways has even some advantages compared to Etihad as a lifestyle. More routes, more destinations. So consider Qatar Airways as well uh, when applying for one of those Middle Eastern airlines, ladies and gents. Now, what do you think about this video? What, what do you think about those changes? If you're a Qatar Airways crew, please leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you think about it. And uh, everybody like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye and have a nice one.